All right, um, so again, let's go back to our overall reaction that we've seen with this coupling chemistry. And we perform this reaction, the presence of palladium, and we get a biaryl. Now, the aryl metal, the role of this, this species is as, as our nucleophile. And so, as people were expanding this reaction, they thought, what other nucleophiles can we use? Well, Buckwald and Hartwig came along and used the means as a nucleophile. But then someone else came along and said, how about acetylides? Can they serve a role as a nucleophile? So, um, what are acetylides? Well, for an acetylide, we would need to have somehow take an alkyne. Remember, acetylides come from alkynes. And we have to treat this with a strong base to make our acetylide. And that's not the easiest thing to do, and it's not always the easiest thing to do in the presence of all these other reagents. Well, as it turns out, people found out that if you take an alkyne and you treat it with a little bit of copper salt, like copper iodide, and an amine base, diethylamine is one of the amines that works particularly well for this whole process, then you can pretty easily form an acetylide. And what's the counter ion to our acetylide? We've seen sodium acetylides. As it turns out, the counter ion is copper. Well, once people understood this, then it was just a matter of using this recipe in the reaction and replacing our aryl metal with this whole group right here. And that's exactly what they did. So you can take an aryl halide and we're going to react it with a mixture that's going to include our alkyne. And to make the alkyne form the nucleophile as the, as the acetylide, we have to throw in copper and our amine as our base. And of course, to make the whole thing go, we need our palladium catalyst. And what do you get? You get the aromatic ring coupling with the acetylene. And we get this product. So we make have a new way to make substituted triple bonds. This is called the Sonagashira coupling. Sonagashira And this works great. Partic and people particularly love this reaction because making alkynes, and there's a lot, a lot of new chemistry in alkynes that people can use. So let's see an example of this. Here's a halide. And we can react this with some alkyne. We can put whatever we want off of here. CH2 phenyl is not the most creative thing, but it'll work. We need our palladium catalyst. We need our copper iodide. We need an amine base. And there are many different amine bases that people have used. That's just one common example. Here's our benzene ring. We're going to lose our HBr. The H from deprotonation, the Br, because when we do the, have the palladium insert into that carbon halogen bond, And that's our product. Now, just like we saw with the Buckwald-Hartwig reaction, we make this new sigma bond, and this kind of looks like an SN2 reaction. Oh, yeah, we just had this carbon attack that the aromatic ring carbon and kick out the bromide. That is not an SN2. It looks like it could be, but it's not. Because remember, SN2 reactions require alkyl halides. This is not an alkyl halide. That carbon is sp2 hybridized. You need sp3 to be an alkyl halide. So there's a different reaction. It goes through this catalytic cycle using a palladium catalyst. And um, this is called the Sonagashira coupling.